without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I'm about to enter. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Senator Adams. <laughs> Congratulations, Abby. <laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs> so, how about some lunch? Someone told me that you serve at the pleasure of the president, right? That's right, yeah. ma'am. Then, Mr. Secretary O'Neill, you are relieved. I think that's what you say when you fire somebody, right? That's what they did on the West Wing anyway. I don't know. And I'm not sure what you'll do about your last check. You! You can't do that! Actually, I think she can, PJ. Uh, and I think she just fired your pompous ass. Is that it? Is that all he's gonna say? Is it over? I need five tickets to tonight's party. Yeah, no. Terry, this is so important. I have a very important client that I've got to have at this party tonight. Well, who's your client? Robert Pierce Mitchell. Who's Robert Pierce Mitchell? You remember Robert Pierce Mitchell. He was Johnny Dynamo. We leaked some pictures, okay? It was wrong, but it was innocent, I swear. Where I have worked too hard to let you or anyone else try to step in here and screw this up. You sit up here in this fancy office and you blow sunshine up the mayor's ass all day. I'll see you over there. Where's Ira? He's in the bathroom. Well, I can't go get him. Mickey. What did you mean when you said I might be in a box if it wasn't for you? <laughs> Forget about it. He's been sending me death threats on my phone. He's trying to kill me. Hannah, is it okay if I call you Hannah? I don't want you to call me anything. I don't even want to know you people. Okay, then why don't you just show us your damn phone, let us look at the text messages, and if you're telling the truth, then Wait we a just... minute. Why would Terry Lowell try to kill you? Are you sleeping with his boyfriend? Is this a crime of passion? Oh my God, no! No! I already told you I got him fired from the mayor's office! Okay. So, Hannah, are you here to cry on Mickey's shoulder like you did the mayor's? Drop dead, Terry. <laughs> You're pathetic. Dreams, images, ideas, and emotions, once created by our minds as we peacefully slept through the night, are now just a distant memory for those of us old enough to remember them. Thirty years ago today was the night we fell into darkness, the night we as a people stopped dreaming. This is Charles. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Hi. I know who you are. I've seen you on TV. Mm -hmm. Do Excuse you know? me, did you say Charles was your name? That's right, Charles. Okay, thank you. Um, I have a date with Reed tonight, a, and I'm really excited about it. I've been looking forward to it all week, so I don't know if you have somewhere else you could go. You know? There were worms coming out of his face. <laughs> Fantasites are intended to help people. Meredith, would you like a tissue?